This is Venus Space Probe Arcturus 3. Venus Space Probe Arcturus 3 on prescribed re-entry course. Awaiting contact with checkpoint sea view. All systems green, sir. We have them on full instrumentation. Checkpoint sea view to Arcturus 3. Checkpoint sea view to Arcturus 3. Do you read me? We read you five square, sea view. Nice to talk to someone from Earth again. How's the weather down there? Wet and windy. Well, come on up here. The weather's fine. Give us an instrument reading. We'll check it out and turn you over to Central Control for recovery instructions. Roger. Angle of declination, 27 degrees. Speed, 2750. Set to fire retros on command. Okay, Arcturus. We'll turn you over to Central Control at 0950. Happy landings. Checkpoint Seaview. Seaview, come in. This is Seaview. What's going on up there? We've entered some kind of force field. Instrumentation is going wild. Can you identify the force? Where's it coming from? Negative. We're in the center of the field. Going out of control. Take evasive action. Use manual guidance. Our controls are locked in. We're being ripped apart. End of mission. End of... Arcturus 3. Can you read me? Arcturus 3. to the bottom of the sea. Starring Richard Basehart. David Edison. Voyage to the bottom of the sea. that destroyed our space probe. It lies somewhere in that area. The instruments aboard were bled of all information before the capsule was destroyed. In other words, everything our probe learned about space is now in their hands, huh? Exactly. We've lost the knowledge as well as the capsule. And we've lost two astronauts. Well, your job is to see that we don't lose any more. Find out what they've got, how it functions, and how we can stop them. Everything is checked out so the flying sub is completely operational. Very well. Chip, we'll need special weapons. The XR-3 gear. I'll see it stowed aboard. Chief, you and Kowalski are coming with me. Aye, aye, sir. We shove off in ten minutes in combat fatigues and gear. Yes, sir. I'll brief you en route. Right. Now, if we're discovered, we're on our own. Exactly. We do have some contacts in the underground. And Major Lee Chang will meet you with a small force of guerrilla fighters. Major Lee Chang. We're approaching launch coordinates, sir. Thanks, Jim. All stop. Stand by to launch the flying submarine. Prepare to launch. Ready to launch. Chief. All set. Launch.
sir. What's the speed? 1750 knots, sir. Mm -hmm. Course. 260 degrees. There it is. There's our landfall. Mark coordinate 82. 82, sir. Vector 3. Vector 3. Hmm. Looks like we meet this Major League Changup River. Yes. We're scheduled to make contact with him at... Sounds like the same kind of thing that destroyed the space capsule. We want to move that force field, sir. All right. Hang on. Somebody, somebody sure knows we're coming. Close the blackout shutters. They won't be able to see the lights. Yes, sir. If something has sprung a leak topside, Captain. Maybe uh, near the chief to help out. If I need you, I'll get in touch. frequency. I'll be in communication every half hour until I return with Major Chang. And uh, what happens if we, uh, we don't hear from you, sir? Wait six hours. If there's no word, return to the CBM. Okay, Kowalski, crack the hatch. Yes, sir.
Kowalski. There's no telling what's going on topside with the skipper, and we're stuck down here. FS1, unscramble, proceed. This is Sea Dog. Flying sub one. Put Captain Crane on. Sorry, sir. The captain wanted to short of contact Major Chang. Can you communicate? We have a G frequency established. Get on it, Chief. Tell him Washington reports a king size follow up in the underground. He may be walking right into a trap. Commander Morton said. We got to try voice transmission. And just maybe there's a bunch of lousy bandits up there all set to make a rumble. All they need is the sound of our transmission to lead them straight to the skipper. Contact, Chief. Single blip headed toward the bow. Range 110 yards. Frogman. The skipper? No recognition signal. Maybe it's the underground contact. Check it out. Fly ball is on the field. Fly ball is on the field. How do you handle? Circus catch closes off the bottom of the ninth inning. How does the scorecard read? No hits, no runs, no errors. Coming to the dugout.
What gives? You're an American. That's obvious. Try something else on the size. Very well. Liebold is sent a few. How do you handle? A circus catch. Closes out at the bottom of the ninth inning. Very good. And how does your scorecard read? How does yours read? No hits, no runs, no errors. All right. Who are you? I should think it'd be obvious by now, Captain Gray. I'm the underground contact you were to meet, Major Li Cheng. Sailor, I'm no enemy of yours. Well, uh, just who are you? I'm your underground contact, Major Li Chang. You had no word whatsoever from me. Nothing. He could have walked right into a trap. Doesn't return within an hour. Sharkey and Kowalski will have to complete his mission. Sounds urgent, sir. Chip, Arcturus IV, our second returning space probe, will go into re-entry in 12 hours. There's been no public release of information on that? Well, for obvious reasons. Whatever destroyed Arcturus III can track down and destroy four just as easily. Now, our data processing here indicates it's a Halden computer. Blake Halden? A space expert is working for them? That's the man. Now, the Holden computer is basically similar to our RG-43. Lee has got to find it and destroy it. If he's still alive. And if he can find the scientific complex Holden's operating from. Well, somebody has to find it. And within 12 hours, otherwise Arcturus 4 will be destroyed. <laughs> My prediction was remarkably accurate, Colonel. <laughs> According to this, the Arcturus IV will start its re-entry orbit in precisely 11 hours and 53 minutes. Just what assurance do I have, Mr. Halden, that you and your machine are furnishing correct data? There's always faith. Faith. Indeed, faith. In orbital computations, faith in spatial telemetry, Faith in stellar vector digits, the entire marvelous world of civilizations. I have faith only in the evidence of my five senses. Then as your senses have already recorded the destruction of the Arcturus III, they will also record the destruction of the Arcturus IV. Apparently, we have a traitor in our underground movement. When we reached our rendezvous area, they were waiting for us and opened fire. But they didn't get you. No, but... When I saw you stalking through the jungle... You thought they were returning to kill you? Yes. <sighs> it's a nasty habit. What? Shooting first and asking questions afterwards. <laughs> mm. You don't believe me. Let's say I'm withholding judgment. Reading, proceed. This is Leader. About to return to base with a guest. Acquire proper traveling gear. Send immediately to the original rendezvous point. Out. Captain, we got word from the sick. All right. 
Kowalski. What are you hanging around for? You heard him get in your wetsuit and break out another one. Well, I'm on my way. Uh, huh? something tells me this is going to be a very interesting meeting. Okay, Chip. Now I have the messages. Tell the Admiral we'll carry on. All right. Now one of you is lying. Now I've heard his story. What's yours? Or do you still insist you're Major Cheng? Of course not. I'm Moana Yutang. Does that mean anything to you? No. He doesn't mean anything to me either. But I mean something to you. Why? Who else can lead you to the Halden computer and stop Arcturus IV from being shot down? You know where Halden is? Not exactly. But I know where there's a safe house in the jungle. Some of our men who worked on the complex are waiting there. I take you to them, they take you to Halden. Just like that. Why not? Perhaps because you came aboard, posing as me. I was with some resistance fighters who were cut down in ambush. Before one of them died, I was told about the Major Chang rendezvous here. That still doesn't tell us why you posed as Major Chang. I had no wish to be killed by your man because they did not know me. Now, somehow I had to get aboard safely. To help you destroy our enemies, their scientific headquarters. Or perhaps to lead us all into a death trap. Where is the safe house? About ten miles from the source of this river and five more inland. Have you heard of it? I know it exists, yes. Chief. Take us up river. Uh, with her? I had one third. Oh, yes, sir. You are accepting this girl at face value? Do you trust her? No more than I trust you. But at least she has a plan. <laughs> certain ceremonial dance. All the young girls of the village dance in masks. And the ugliest girl is always given the prettiest mask. Contact, Skipper. There's a whole mess of them. All stop.
stop hovering, sir, but those things still seem to be coming on. Activate the nose camera. They're homing lines. Hit the counter-magnetic field. Circuits. Aye, right, sir. Kowalski, check the hall. Aye, sir. Captain. The, the major reactor circuits are all blown, sir. But the secondary emergency circuits are, are only damaged. How long do you need to fix it? Oh, about eight to ten hours. Kowalski, all gauges and pressures normal, sir. No visible sign of hall or structure damage. <coughs> all right, Chief. Stay aboard and repair the damage. The rest of us are going to move out. Aye, aye, sir. You're not going ahead with their plan. Not after what's happened. I'd go ahead with this mission even if the two of you were hauled in and his right-hand man. Now, let's get into our suits. <laughs> in our sights. In seven hours, 23 minutes, she will move into her re-entry orbit and be ours. You're not pleased? I'd be more pleased if the gorillas that landed on our shores had been eliminated. It makes you think they haven't been. Listen for yourself. There's a signal from our agent who is in contact with them. Security is your business, Colonel. Make sure you take care of it. Mine is to learn the secret of the stars so that we and not the United States will dominate space. Stop and rest. Strange, isn't it, Captain? What's that? The stars. They're different here, but they cast the same magic spell they did over the Westwood campus. Westwood? <laughs> I was an exchange student at UCLA, and I loved everything about it. Pom-pom girl, sorority, theater arts. You know, I still wear my pink. It symbolizes something to me. Happiness, freedom, acceptance. But then, at heart, I'm just a little sentimental fool. There's not much sentiment connected with what you're doing out here. That depends on the point of view. I came back to help my country, to give my people a place in the sun. 
Are you doing it? Sometimes I wonder. What do you think? Well, depends upon what you're really doing. Sounded like an ambush. No doubt of it. And the firing came from the exact direction in which Monsieur Tang was leading us. Major, you and I are going on a little scouting expedition. Gladly. But I would be of more help carrying arms. Here. Kowalski, you stay with Monsieur Tang. Keep her under guard. Yes, sir. Why don't you bind and gag me too, Captain? Watch out for her, Kowalski. The time she can deceive you by being a little sentimental fool. Yes, sir. the girl was leading us to. That trap had not been sprung prematurely. Think of what could have happened to us. Right now, Major. I'm thinking about Kowalski. I'm still a woman. And makeup doesn't last long in jungle humidity. May I have your permission to take it out? Just make it slow and easy, ma'am. Of course. Just a lipstick. But if you don't believe me, see for yourself. Hey! <laughs> too valuable, Captain. The Holden computer complex should be located somewhere in this area. But the two of us alone could not possibly hope to... Hold it, would you? Reading, proceed. The rumble is on, Skipper. We just got a red coat flash from Washington, and you're in trouble. Let's have it. I don't know who that joker is tagging along with you, but it's a cinch he's not Major Chang. He couldn't be, Skipper. They just got the word the real Major Chang was killed in an ambush two days ago. still reading me. Come in, leader, come in. Throw the radio pack to the ground, Captain. Slowly and gently. FS-1 calling leader, FS-1 calling leader. Did you hear what I said, Skipper? The real Major Chang was killed two days ago. Let me know if you're reading. Let me know if you're... has finally come to an end, Captain. Do you mind telling me who you really are? My name is not important. My job is. I still have my assigned task to complete. To kill me? 
Hardly. That I could have done long ago. No, my superiors wish to question you now about your flying submarine. I will take you to them. So I'm going to make it to your scientific headquarters after all. In plenty of time to see your Arcturus form at the same fate as your last probe. Shall we go? FS1 to Sea Dog. FS1 to Sea Dog. Come in, come in. This is Sea Dog. Flying Sub 1. Proceed. Emergency X3 signal being received from leaders. Homing device is set and operating. Request permission to follow and join him. Over. Permission granted. Out. at our destination, Captain. What do you think of it? A very effective cover for an underground complex. There must be a passageway inside leading down to the center. There is. The only difficulty is in getting to it. That scorched circle in front of the hut must be a force field. Exactly. Certain death to anyone who doesn't wear the individual identification ring. And knows it's secret. Thanks for letting me know. Now I can get in there without you. This is no time for heroics, Captain. I have no compunctions about killing you. I believe that. You've had your warning. Did you really think I'd trust you with a live weapon? <laughs> Where's Kowalski? My transceiver intercepted Chang's message to the Howland Complex headquarters. Someone had to tell you this man was a traitor, so I gave your sailor a little whiff of Morpheus gas. He should be fine by now. You still think I lie? 
This might help. What's this? A detailed schematic drawing of the interior of the complex. You should have given me this before. I couldn't without revealing my identity. Where did you get this in the first place? From the dying underground leader who sent me to you. Why did he give it to you? He was my husband. for exactly seven minutes. Prepare to mark. Mark! Excellent. Everything's operational. That's bothering you, We have no report from our agent for almost six hours. What difference does that make? We're impregnable here. In less than seven minutes now. Our work be most satisfactorily completed. This is the main corridor, and this is the power duct right here. Mm -hmm. And the control room complex is right in here. Now, our strategy is simple. Commando type raid. We've got about six minutes to accomplish it. And we wonder if the three of us can handle this. You better stay here. Save your breath, Captain. You'll need crossfire cover, and I've got a personal score to set. Let's go. Get rid of this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. The force field's operative. This is better work. complex is directly on the other side. That's it. Arcturus 4 to checkpoint Z view. All re-entry systems go. No sign of any electronic disturbance up here. 
Can you use manual evasive action if required? Negative. Maneuvering fuel tanks read zero. Okay, Octopus 4. We'll keep them crossed. Field. It's on its way. In less than a minute, the Arcturus Four will be destroyed. panel. Chief, the laser. is irreversible. What are we waiting for? Let's move. change your mind, Moana? I'm afraid not, Captain. Those stars can look mighty pretty over the Westwood campus. My star lies here, Captain, with my people. Let's hope it shines brightly forever, Moana. Sub-1 reports mission accomplished. We're coming home. 